Hello friends, my name is uh, Nirmal Hari and uh, I'm the diversification specialist uh, at PSE in Arbor. At PSE, we do applied production research projects and today I want to share about an exciting project on soybean peas intercropping. This project is in collaboration with the University of Manitoba and Kristen McMill is the lead on this project. Before we move further, let's see what is intercropping. Intercropping is where we plant two crops at the same time and harvest them together. And what we're trying to achieve is either overproduction or higher revenue when we grow two crops together instead of single crops on their own. The treatments we have here in Arburg, we have four crop combinations and they include pea canola, soybean flax, pea flax, and pea oat. For each of the crop combinations, we are also testing three different ratios of seeding rates to see which one is optimum. The idea behind intercropping and how we would potentially achieve overyielding or greater profits would ideally be using the principle of plant diversity. So two crops growing together may have better resource use efficiency, whether that's light, water, or nutrients. We may have benefits from pest suppression. So these are all questions that we are trying to answer here in Arbor. Now intercropping itself has been around since the beginning of agriculture, but it's just starting to pick up uh, in commercial acres here in Manitoba. So you can actually insure intercrops now. And in 2019, there were about 15,000 acres of intercrops in the province. The pea canola one is the most common intercrop that's grown commercially. It's been tested the most widely and it's a fairly consistent over yielding, meaning again that the two crops together produce more yield than peas or canola grown alone. Another one that might be particularly interesting for the Arburg area is the pea oat intercrop and we are also looking at forage quality. So can adding peas to an oat um, hay crop increase the feed quality, specifically protein? This is the second year of the experiment here in Arburg, and I'm looking forward to seeing the results and I hope you check them out this winter.